This week we have some very interesting sneakers about to drop, so you're definitely not going to want to miss this one. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R I D O U T, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming week's sneaker resale predictions. The first sneaker we're going to talk about this week is a Nike SB Dunk Low in the chlorophyll colorway. Now this sneaker is due to release on the 11th of November 2021 and has a recommended retail price here in the UK of £95. Now I think we all know by now that when it comes to Nike SB Dunks we definitely get a good return on the resale market and this is definitely no exception at all. The current average pre-release market value of this sneaker is hovering around £240 which is uplift of about 155% on that retail price. As with every SB Dunk you get that cushioned tongue on the sneaker which does give you a more comfortable wear and fit on foot and when it comes to the materials used on this release it actually appears to have three different types of materials used on the upper you have the suede you have a leather and you also have a kind of synthetic material used too so it's a good combination of materials and I think that does add a little bit of extra weight to this release when it comes to money sizes the UK 5.5 the 6 and the 9 are all going to give you good returns and that 5.5 that's going to give you the best returns overall now once this sneaker hits general release to the public, I am expecting that resale price to drop down probably to around £130-£135, which is good returns, you're still going to get about 40% back on that retail price. However, even though it is an SB Dunk, the colorway is average and I do think that the resale value will reflect that. Now if I had a pair of these sneakers in hand, would I hold on to them or would I sell them? Well on this occasion I would have to sell them and I would sell them quickly. It's an okay release and I think if you're going to get any good return on it is going to be early on so I would sell quickly. The second sneaker we're going to talk about this week is the Air Jordan 2 collaboration with Off-White. Now this sneaker is due to release on the 12th of November 2021 and has a rather odd recommended retail price of £202.95. Now this sneaker has been rumoured to be releasing for the last six to eight months at least so there's a lot of people waiting for this drop to actually happen. Now from what I'm hearing and what I've read online there are only going to be about 60,000 pairs of this sneaker available so expect resale prices to reflect that. So this sneaker does drop in two different colorways you've got the white varsity red and you've got the black varsity royal. In my opinion the white varsity red is the better out of the two so that's the one we're going to talk about in this video. Now on the pre-release market these sneakers are proving to be very popular indeed with the current average resale price hovering around £525 which is markup of about 156% on that retail price. Price. When it comes to money sizes for this release, it definitely feels like the bigger sizes are where the most opportunity is at, with the UK 10, 11 and 12 presenting the best opportunity. And that UK 10, that's going to be your golden size, that's where you'll get the best return overall. Now once this sneaker hits general release to the public, I am expecting the price to drop down a little, but there is a lot of hype around this release, and I do think that the resale price will reflect that hype. I'm expecting the price to hover around £400 at least for the first month, and that is good returns of about nearly 100% on that retail price. Now if I had a pair of these sneakers in hand would I hold on to them or would I sell them? Well I do think with this drop I am going to hold on to them and hold on to them for at least 6 to 12 months. There is a lot of hype around them at the moment but I do think with this release given that the quantities are so limited that that hype will continue to grow so I would hold on to them 6 to 12 months and expect that value to increase too. The third sneaker we're talking about this week is definitely the strangest and craziest design of the week. This is the Yeezy Knit Runner boot in the sulfur colorway. Now at the time of creating this video we don't have any landing pages or information officially of this release so it is rumored to be releasing on the 13th of November and is also rumored to have a retail price of £180. I'm not entirely sure if either of those things are correct at this time but that's what we're anticipating for later this week. So interestingly this sneaker has been around for a long time. Kanye was rocking a pair at Paris Fashion week back in 2020 so this has been a long time coming. Now me personally I'm not really a big fan of this silhouette but it is a brand new silhouette nonetheless so that's definitely going to cause a little bit of extra hype or a wild card situation with this release. Now on the pre-release market these sneakers are fetching crazy prices with the current average resale price hovering around £970. Yep 
970 pounds, which is about 440% markup on the retail price. Now there is a big disclaimer with these numbers. There's only been a couple of sales to date, so that's why the prices are so high. So definitely expect those numbers to drop down when it actually releases. In terms of money sizes, the UK 6, the 8, and the 11 are all gonna give you good returns. And that UK 11 is gonna be the best returns overall. Now once this sneaker hits general release, I am expecting that resale price to drop down. Obviously that's massively dependent on what the retail price is, but looking at the current bidding activity already, it's kind of hovering around 280, 300 pounds. So expect those kinds of returns back. Now, if I had a pair of these sneakers in hand, would I hold on to them or would I sell them? Well, typically with an OG silhouette release, I would hold on to them, but because this is such a strange looking sneaker and very niche, I would sell it and I would sell it quickly. Try and claw back as much money as possible early on. The fourth and final sneaker we're gonna talk about this week is the Yeezy 500 in the clay brown colorway. Now this sneaker is due to release on the 13th of November 2021 and has a recommended retail price here in the UK of 180 pounds. Now with this release, I have actually been lucky enough to get a pair early, which you can see right here. So here's a little sneak preview of the sneaker. A full review will be happening on my channel later this week. So be sure to subscribe down below. And me personally, I have absolutely love a Yeezy 500. I do think it's a silhouette which will survive the test of time. Now, personally speaking, I really like the way this looks. I think it's very autumnal, very wintry, so it should do very well on release. However, that being said, there are lots of pairs of these available on places like StockX and Goat already, and the current pre-release market value does reflect that because it's only around 170 pounds, which is actually below retail. Now, when it comes to money sizes for this release, the UK 5.5, the 7, and the 9 are all going to give you very good returns and that 5.5 that's going to be your golden size that's where you get the best return overall now once this sneaker does hit general release to the public i can't see it really making much more than a retail price of about 170 180 pounds which isn't great from a resale perspective but if you're looking for personal that's really good news because you should be able to cop them fairly easily now as i have a pair of these in hand already will i hold on to them or will i sell them well i actually like the colorway so i'm going to be holding Holding onto these, but purely for personal reasons only. I'm not expecting to make any money on these at all, and you shouldn't either. So hold on, but purely for personal. And on that note, that's it from me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It really does mean the world to me. You can also follow me up here on Instagram. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.